welcome back to this week's episode of the Weekly Digest. The Mouth of South. And tonight, we have to be kind to one another, which we have no problem with. At all. <laughs> Here, as a random act of kindness, would you like an apple? Well. Hey, I wonder what we're going to be eating this week. And now, the weekly spagooter. What is your favorite food on the menu? Uh, the orange chicken. The orange chicken? And um, what is the kindest thing you've ever done? Uh, I made a, like a very thick stack of collards for my mom once. Okay, perfect. Are you enjoying your food? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and what is the kindest thing you've ever done? Kindest thing I've ever done? Um, probably uh, get, get, give someone money, I guess. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Hoagies and grinders, hoagies and grinders, navy beans, navy beans, meat loaf sandwich. Slobby go, slap, slobby go, slobby go, slap, slobby go, come on. Slobby go, slap, slobby go, you die. Slobby go. Now let's go see someone new. My name is Ariana. I'm in seventh grade. Before I came here, uh, I used to go to Seneca. I'm not in sports, but I want to be a chiller next year. I like South because it does fun stuff. My favorite subject is science. I like to go to Branson with my family. And now to the comment contest. I kindly welcome you all to the calm test. The finest experience you will ever see. Now last week was about Valentine's Day and communism. Like peanut butter and jelly. Communism, Valentine. Day. Now, out of the guessers who have guessed correctly, I but I would like you to tell about other people's acts of random kindness. Not your own, because that's bragging. That's not all too kind, is it? But I'll, as you can tell, I'm getting bored. But answer at Ely to SMS. Now I must say, awkward ending. Is that good? We good? Awkward ending? Now let's go see who won the teacher contest. Hey, as a random act of kindness, um, let me pull your chair out for you. And now to the teacher feature. Got that sunshine in my pocket, got that good soul in my feet, I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. I'm in room 307 and I teach social skills. By the way, Patriots are so much better than the Chiefs. And now to the 35 essentials. 
where we learn about kindness, Alex. <laughs> Imagination. Welcome home, dear Essential friend. Seven, show random acts of kindness. Let's create a masterpiece to your dreams. Oh, you got it. Hold on, you okay? Hold on. I think it works, actually. A hug always helps. I'm the product of Bring the light upon this somber threshold. Imagination comes to life. Just free yourself from reason. Soon you'll see in black and white. Call me a seed of evil, but what's that mean if I'm conceived within your mind? Now let's go meet a superstar student. I submitted Kobe Wilson to be the superstar student. Kobe exhibits a kind and compassionate heart and went above and beyond to help a fellow student who was in um, in need because he lost his home to a fire. I look for a uh, superstar student would be compassion, um, a genuine heart, um, looking out for others, somebody who is a willing to go above and beyond and not think of self. Why do you choose to show kindness and compassion to other students? I don't know, I guess I just like seeing people happy. I like trying to help them. And now to the Art Atomic. And now to the Principal's Minute with Mr. Mitchell. Hello, Mr. Mitchell. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. So we just wanted to talk about random acts of kindness in, in general, you know, not just the ones that we have here. So yeah. let's talk about that a little bit. You know, <clears throat> I don't think the act of being, just being kind, it, it, it never, isn't a good option. Mm -hmm. It's always just, you know what, just just be nice. You know, I mean, that we all have a, you know, that range of, of, of emotions and reactions to things, but when, when you get an opportunity to just be nice and help somebody, it's, it's really a good thing, whether somebody's watching or not, whether you recognize for it or not, it just makes you feel better, it makes the other person feel better, it's good. And also, uh, you know, being kind also helps like get uh, directions out and it helps, you know, give ideas out. Instead of just being mean about it, you know, if you're nice about it and kind, then it gets the job better, it gets it done better. Yeah. So, um... Makes things much more palatable. Yes, for sure, <laughs> for sure. So, um, that's, that's good, so, right. perfect. Well, hey, yeah. have a good week, be kind. Perfect. And now to the fine arts focus.
Sports. As a random act of kindness, here is a sports ball. And now to the words of wisdom. Hello again, everyone. This week's words of wisdom are, do a random act of kindness this week. You'll feel better and so will the person that you're being kind to. Thanks and have a great day. And now to the words of wise, dumb. Think about it. Are you implying something, Alex? This week's theme is kindness. And I think we should exercise kindness each day. You meet all kinds of people. You see a person like, oh, that's a smart person. Oh, that's a rude person. There is a nice person. You do meet all kinds of people. We should all exercise kindness. You could be like, oh, what type of person is that? It's Mrs. Narrow. That is an awesome person. What type of person is that? That, that's Mr. Mitchell. He's a great guy. But you also meet some people that are just, you know, irritating. Thinking of you, Christian. Thinking of you. So remember, you'll meet all kinds of people, and you need to exercise kindness in your life. Think about it. Memes? I wonder what Miss Narrow will teach us about random acts of kindness this week. Hello, Miss Narrow. What are we talking about this week? Well, hello, Genevieve. Hello, President Hoover. 
think that we're probably going with the theme of presidents here. President's Day is coming up. And I thought it would be really, really important for all of you to know some of the most important presidents in history and some of the most famous ones. They had wiener dogs. Dachshunds. Did you know that JFK had a wiener dog? Theodore Roosevelt had a wiener dog. Grover Cleveland had a wiener dog. And one of the greatest presidents of all, as if those three weren't the greatest, Abraham Lincoln owned a wiener dog. So therefore on President's Day we should honor those presidents that own their own wiener dogs. I make the executive decision that this is Counselor's Corner, not random fact. It's not random. It's a very important fact. Something that I'm going to cherish and hold close to my heart on President's Day. Those presidents that have, have wiener dogs. Clearly, they were probably the kindest, kind, kind, kindest of all presidents. And even when you're in a position of authority as president of the United States of America, you should always show kindness to others. Yep. Okay, so the president has a lot of responsibilities being in the position of president of the United States of America. And I think that that president in authority should definitely be like a like a leader of all role models. Should be a role model. Definitely should use their manners and not slurp their coffee, tea, or soup. But also be open to, even when you're in a position- Hey, this is library. Always be open to what you need to do to change or how to make a situation better. So, presidents are just human, and that's why we have a checks and balances system so that we can check and balance even when the president might be incorrect. So, remember that in any position of authority that you might be in someday, you will still need to be checked and balanced. That's part of the democracy. The democracy, the, 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 the democracy, and that's part of what makes us such a wonderful, wonderful nation. Let's go see some books about kindness. Deep and Dark and Dangerous is by Mary Downing Hahn, and it is about two girls who are cousins named Allison and Emma who go down to a lake house, and Emma makes a friend about her age named Sissy, who um, she follows around a lot and just is really good friends with and gets mad whenever her sister says she can't hang out with her anymore, but read the book to find out why she can't. As a random question of kindness, are you kind? Um, pick up like someone's stuff when they fell. A random act of kindness I done this week is I helped a little girl get off off the streets when she fell off her bike. Um, random 
like the kindest that I've done this week is probably helping my mom cook and clean around the house, uh, watching my baby sister while my mom is out, and basically like holding the door open for everybody in my family when we go out to eat. The random act of kindness that I did was this week was um, helping my mom fold the, fold the clothes and I did some cooking for them when they have to go to work. And yeah, that's what I did for this week. Now let's go see the greatest mustache this school has ever seen. He is the most interesting man in the world. Greetings, my friends. I understand that the theme for this digest is random acts of ki kindness. I would like to urge everybody to write something positive, just a small note about Mr. Bromley or Mr. Morgan. I'm sure they haven't had very much feedback s since they left Remulac. Stay healthy, my friends. Now let's go see who found the mustache. Let's go see. No, I, d I don't. It's the bell music. Let's go see what the bell music theme was. The bell music news. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Bell music. This yeah, week, yes. this week, the theme was um, cartoon, cartoon theme, theme songs, songs from your childhood. Yep, we so, had Elmo in there, we had Barney in there, DuckTales. We had a lot of stuff in there. We had DuckTales in there too. I don't know if you guys remember that song. But yeah. Anyways, it was great. Um, we got a bunch of responses, and all of them were right. I'm just kidding. No, not all. Of them. And the, the winner, the winner is right there. Right there. Congratulations, you won. You won. Come down to room 205 to claim your prize. And you can submit using email at eleadersms.gmail.com. Not dot at gmail.com. Yep. Or you could submit traditionally in the Bell Music box. And. Yeah. Be traditional. Yep. Yeah, and if you, since you won, look at all these amazing. You got look at all these all amazing. Kinds of there's stuff. Silver Dollar City shirts. There's not broken tech decks. There's, there's a fidget spinner. Here's another one. There's a hair scrunchie. There's another shirt. I'm not sure what that one is. There's some body gel. There's a bouncy ball. There's whatever, whatever this is. Oh, it's a flip thing. It's like pink on the side and the purple on the other. And then there's like some lame things, totally not broken tech decks. Is um, this a cat or a dog on your side? That's a, obviously a cat. Wrong's wrong. Uh, totally not broken tech deck. Um, I gotta do some repairs. I need another one of those. Yeah. Oh, candy. I need a yeah, too. Well, that's what you get if you win. Yep. So, have a good weekend. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend. 
Now let's go see the random fact with Captain Random and his sidekick, General Knowledge. To knowledge. <laughs> Did you know that kindness can reduce the effects of stress? Did you also know that kindness can increase energy levels and confidence? Now to the self- No. Can you ever get it right? And now to the selfie second. And now, the selfie second. And now to the club connect. And now for some kind upcoming events. Today, the 21st, Kona Ice will be coming. On the 24th, on Monday, Science Fair will be happening from 4 to 7. On the 26th, 8th grade will be touring the high school. And on the 27th, there will be a band concert. Ruta did two. Thank you, and have a wonderful weekend. And remember, if you want to do any kind of random acts of kindness, then you should email us at eleadersms at gmail.com.